Imagine a cat. Is it alive or dead? Seems like a simple question, right? Now put that cat in a box. Suddenly things get weird. Welcome to the world of Schrodinger's cat, where the line between life and death blurs. This isn't just a gruesome riddle. It's a thought experiment that shook the foundations of physics. It forces us to confront the strange and counterintuitive rules that govern the universe at its smallest scales. In the quantum realm, things aren't always as they seem. Particles can be in multiple states at once, defying our everyday experience. Schrodinger's cat is an analogy, a way to grasp these bizarre concepts. So buckle up, we're about to dive into the subatomic world, where cats can be both alive and dead, and reality itself becomes a question mark. Let's explore the mysteries of Schrodinger's cat and unravel the quantum paradox that continues to baffle and inspire scientists to this day. The 1930s was a time of great upheaval in physics. Scientists were grappling with a new theory called quantum mechanics. This theory described the behavior of matter at the atomic and subatomic level. Erwin Schrödinger, an Austrian physicist, was a key figure in this revolution. He developed a groundbreaking equation that described how the state of a quantum system evolves over time. But even Schrödinger was puzzled by some of the implications of this new theory. One of the most perplexing aspects of quantum mechanics was the idea of superposition. This concept stated that a particle could exist in multiple states simultaneously until it was observed. Schrodinger found this idea hard to reconcile with our everyday experience. To illustrate his point, he devised a thought experiment that would become one of the most famous paradoxes in science Schrodinger's cat. To understand Schrodinger's cat, we need to venture into the strange world of quantum mechanics. This is the realm of atoms and subatomic particles, where the rules of classical physics break down. Here, things don't always behave as we expect them to. Imagine a tiny particle like an electron. In the quantum world, this electron doesn't exist in a fixed state until we measure it. Instead, it exists in a superposition, a combination of multiple states at once. Think of it like a coin spinning in the air. Until it lands, it's neither heads nor tails, it's a blur of both possibilities. Similarly, a quantum particle can be in multiple states simultaneously. This concept of superposition is crucial to understanding Schrodinger's cat. It challenges our intuition about how the world works and forces us to rethink the nature of reality itself. Schrodinger's cat is a thought experiment a way for us to wrap our minds around the perplexing nature of quantum mechanics. Here's how it works. Imagine a cat placed inside a sealed box. Along with the cat are a few potentially deadly components. There's a tiny bit of radioactive material, a Geiger counter, a device that detects radiation, and a flask of poison. If the radioactive material decays, the Geiger counter will detect it, triggering a mechanism that releases the poison, killing the cat. If the material doesn't decay, the cat remains safe and sound. Here's where the quantum weirdness kicks in. The decay of the radioactive material is a quantum event, governed by the laws of probability. Until we open the box and observe the cat, the radioactive material exists in a superposition, both decayed and undecayed. Superposition. The cat exists in two states at once. Remember the spinning coin analogy? Just like the coin is both heads and tails until it lands, the radioactive material is both decayed and undecayed until we observe it. And this is where things get really strange. Because the cat's fate is tied to the state of the radioactive material, the cat itself also exists in a superposition. It's both alive and dead at the same time. Now I know what you're thinking. This is insane. How can a cat be both alive and dead? Our everyday experience tells us that's impossible. And you're right. In the macroscopic world we live in, it is. But in the quantum realm, different rules apply. Particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously. Schrodinger's cat highlights the bizarre implications of this concept when applied to the macroscopic world. Copenhagen interpretation observation collapses the possibilities. So how do we resolve this paradox? How does the cat go from being in a superposition to a definite state either alive or dead? The most widely accepted explanation is the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics. This interpretation states that the act of observation causes the superposition to collapse. In other words, when we open the box and look inside, we force the quantum system to choose a single outcome. 
The cat is no longer both alive and dead, it's definitively one or the other. But this interpretation raises more questions. What constitutes an observation? Does a human have to open the box or would the cat observing its own state be enough? These are questions that physicists are still debating today. The Enduring Mystery Questioning Reality at the Subatomic Level Schrodinger's cat is more than just a mind-bending thought experiment. It highlights a fundamental mystery at the heart of quantum mechanics, the relationship between the quantum world and the classical world we experience. How does the weird, counterintuitive behavior of particles at the subatomic level give rise to the concrete, predictable world we see around us? How does the act of observation collapse the wave function and force a quantum system to choose a single outcome? These are questions that continue to puzzle physicists and philosophers alike. Schrodinger's cat doesn't provide any easy answers, instead it forces us to confront the limitations of our understanding and to question the very nature of reality itself. Schrodinger's Cat's Legacy, A Gateway to Quantum Understanding Schrodinger never intended for his thought experiment to be taken literally. He didn't believe that cats could actually exist in a superposition of alive and dead. Instead, he used this paradox to highlight the strangeness of quantum mechanics and its incompatibility with our everyday intuition. But despite its absurdity, Schrodinger's cat has had a profound impact on our understanding of the universe. It has become a cultural icon, appearing in countless books, movies, and TV shows. More importantly, it has served as a gateway for generations of students and laypeople to engage with the mysteries of quantum mechanics. It reminds us that the universe is far stranger and more wondrous than we could ever imagine. So, the next time you see a cat, take a moment to appreciate the profound questions it embodies. Schrodinger's cat may be a thought experiment, but its legacy continues to shape our understanding of the quantum world and the very nature of reality.